Are you using CloudFormation as infrastructure as code tool, but you still deploy your templates manually on the web console? You have a bunch of templates, let's say 50 per each environment, stored in your Git repo? Deployment pipelines would be great, but creating 50 pipelines for each environment would be a lot of work. Have a look in my GitHub repo, you will find a pipeline generator that will create a deployment pipeline for each of your templates in your repo. You just have to deploy this generator with a CloudFormation template, connect your repo where you store your templates with a CodeStar connection and you will have created all pipelines in AWS Code Pipeline in a couple of minutes. You have to allow AWS to connect to your repo first and create a CodeStar connection in your AWS account. Code Pipeline will have to access your CloudFormation repo to read the templates and parameter files and create a pipeline for each template. Now deploy the pipeline generator with the CloudFormation template of my repo and adapt the parameters. This CloudFormation template will create a couple of resources. The most important to mention are the generator pipeline and a template pipeline which will be used to clone and create the deployment pipelines for your CloudFormation templates. You can ignore the template pipeline, it will fail, because it just serves as a template for the pipelines to be generated. The pipeline generator is the important one, it will scan your CloudFormation repo, read the folder structure and then create a deployment pipeline for each folder with a CloudFormation template. After a couple of seconds you will see a new pipeline for each folder and CloudFormation template in AWS Code Pipeline. This pipeline got a source and a deployment stage, quite simple. Once these pipelines are in progress they will first check out the associated template from the repo and then deploy it. You will see the created CloudFormation templates in the web console. If you are adding or removing a template to your repo just run the pipeline generator again to create the new pipelines. If you have updated a CloudFormation template, commit it to your repo and run the associated pipeline. It will update your existing CloudFormation stack with a change set.